What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, introduce it, Pastor Bo. Well, 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 brothers and sisters, it is a blessing to be here today. Amen, amen, and amen. I want to thank you, Brother Brian, of the Brian Watkins Channel. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you for continuously inviting me in. Me? Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I was, I did used to once upon a time, brothers and sisters, I had to throw a little threat on them now and then. I, 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 you be wondering, well, what type of threats is the pastor throwing at him? I threatened not to pray for him, and he said, okay, well, I'll let you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said. And I'm just joking, brothers and sisters. You never, ever wait on somebody to pray for you while you got a mouth of your own. You pray for uh, you pray for yourself, amen? Amen. But Father God says that we are a part of the body, which we are. So we are supposed to pray for one another. We're supposed to love one another, lift up one another. Amen? Amen. So, of course, Brother Brian and I, we're just throwing a little fun back and forth. You know, it's better than throwing bullets back and forth. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's better than throwing lies back and forth. We lying on one another. You know, I mean, it's better than throwing fists back and forth. You know, I mean, you know, so, yeah, we throw some fun back and forth, laughter, and I thank God for it. Amen? Amen. Once again, I'm Pastor Frederick Bowden of the As We Gather Ministries at www.awgm.us. And I thank you all for continuously tuning in and checking out what's going on on the other ministry, the As We Gather ministry, because I'm not going to say that Brian Watkins' channel is a ministry, but from the little section that he has allowed me to come on, you know, that's the, that's the ministry that I'm speaking of, as in the other ministry. But brothers and sisters, never forget, we are the yin and the yang. I know we joke about it, but it's true. It's true. You know, we are the yin and the yang, you know, the light and the night. But I thank God. For, hey, okay. <laughs> well, I let him say that, you know, but as far as me being good, like Christ said, there's none good but the Father. Amen. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I know we up here having fun. And like I said, you know, thank God for us to be able to get to a point in life where we can understand that, yeah, there are issues. Yes, there are problems, but there's also fun. There's also laughter. So I thank God for it. But brothers and sisters, before we go any further, let me go off into prayer. Will you please join me? Most gracious and loving Father in Christ Jesus' name, I thank you, Father God, for first and foremost, for you, Father. I thank you in Christ's name. Father God, I thank you for your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. And I thank you, Father God, for your very spirit, the Holy Ghost, all in Christ Jesus' name. Now, Father God, I thank you for the laughter. I thank you for the joy that we are able to share with our brothers and sisters, your children, Father God, ah, living together, loving on one another, and about to dig into your word and your message. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for blessing us with your word and your very message for today. In your name, Lord Jesus, we pray. And in your name, Lord Jesus, we say amen, amen, and amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I... Thank you for tuning in yet again. I'm Pastor Frederick Bowden of the As We Gather Ministries, www.awgm.us. Brothers and sisters, uh, the last message that we had brought, uh, a promise of life. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to do a little piggybacking off of the a promise of life message uh, with today's message. Uh, in today's message, do you remember? Do you remember? And before I get off into that message, I just want to say a shout out to Mr. Jones. Uh, uh, without a, uh, with due respect unto you, Mr. Jones, we're just going to speak your last name. You know who you are. Mr. Jones, we appreciate you uh, for your uh, comment that you have made. Uh, God bless you, brother. And... Uh, Keep on tuning in and keep on sharing because we appreciate you. 
And anybody else out there who like to send in a comment, uh, anyone who like to send in uh, a, a request for prayer. Because remember when I was joking earlier, but the seriousness of it is also, you know, thank God we can pray for ourselves. But yes, you better believe God wants us to pray for one another. It's all about that love, brothers and sisters. Love ye one another. Well, if you love ye one another, then you're going to pray for ye one another. Amen? Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, we're going to stick in the book of Peter. Um, a promise of life. It was 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 13 and verse 14. Verse 14 uh, had said, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. Well, thank God for that word, brothers and sisters. Thank God for that word. See, brothers and sisters, uh, a promise of life. This was God, God's word letting us know that there's going to be new heavens and a new earth that's a coming. Amen. Amen. And that's at the coming of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus, for that day of judgment. Brothers and sisters, we want to make for sure that we're ready. And verse 14, what I just said, uh, being in peace and being without spot and, and blameless. Well, we got to remember. We got to remember what God's word said so that we can get to that point of enjoying that new earth and new heavens. Remember, without spot, blameless, brothers and sisters, we want to be able to enjoy what God has for us in the life everlasting realm. Because right now we're enjoying what God has blessed us with in the realm of the spirit and the flesh. Amen? Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, today's word, we're sticking with 2 Peter because I want to piggyback a little bit off of a promise of life. Now, remember, a promise of life was also 2 Peter uh, chapter 3, verses 13 and verse 14. But today's word is, do you remember? And I'm not talking about Michael Jackson. Do you remember the time? And God uh, rest his soul as well as that was a blessing of a song. Do you remember the time? Because this is basically what God's word is speaking. Do you remember? Brothers and sisters, turn to the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1 and verse 2. God's word reads, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Well, praise God for that word. Praise God for that word. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God's word says to be in remembrance. Whatever we do, remember what God's word has said. In other words, he didn't change. Yeah, the message was worded a little differently, but it's the basis of the message still the same. Brothers and sisters, we want to make sure that we remember what our Lord and Savior told us. We want to remember what Father God told us. To obey his commandment. Obey. Brothers and sisters, we want to obey what God has told us in Holy Scripture. We want to put God first and foremost above all and everything, person, place, and situation. Amen? Amen. But then we also want to make for sure that we love our brother, love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Brothers and sisters, we want to do right in life, not according to what 
Mama and them taught us unless they